What's up Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another part of my Abbasid campaign for 1212 AD Medieval Kingdoms Total War. And in the last episode we did fight the Mongols uh, for the siege, well, uh, well, we fought them outside Gorgon, but it was really for the siege of Gorgon. Uh, it was their garrison force sallied forth and the army here. Um, oh no, was it this one? It was Allah's chosen actually, Allah's uh, chosen warriors. Defeated them in the field. It's already really well replenished. That's really good um, because we're gonna have to send it back to Merv because it looks like the goddamn Mongols are coming to uh, try and take Merv from us, which is fine. Um, I can do some damage. I think I can have some of these guys kill. I'm gonna try and kill the one from the larger, the larger army. But first, I'm gonna need to find some funds. Find some funds to pay for this. And Kerman's also had a expansion, so I'd like to also try and fund some money for expansion. If this man will just be quiet, then I can talk and explain my devious plans to rule the world. Let's put 2,000 in. You've got a very strong economy. I don't believe you've got a very strong economy, Almahads. I think you've actually got a pretty weak one. If you if you're not able to pay two thousand pounds for military access, there we go. Eighteen hundred. That'll be enough. Eighteen hundred is enough for me to go down here first. Build something. Actually, I can't build anything that I want to build for Kerman. God damn it. Um. Okay, we'll certainly do my attack with this guy. Saud can assassinate. The king, or oh, it's not a king, it's like the leader here. Oh, he now already escaped, that's fine. Um, I actually, I don't think that's really going to do anything. But hey, um, we move on and we don't worry about it too much. Um, and then the other spies over here, Ayub, who I'm going to just put... I'm going to sneak him through here. Sneak him through here and then go up to Merv this way. Very nice, sneaky, sneaky. Don't worry about it. But yeah, we should be able to get both our armies back to Merv in no time. Um, our Imperium does increase. Uh, I've forgotten where that was exactly. There it is, Imperium. We're now inspiring. So we can build two more armies. More uh, fleets if fleets were implemented in this game. But we can get more governors, which kind of is key. Um, so I'm pretty sure we've got some guys over here that could probably become governors if needs be. Um, oh, Hussam. You're not of my. This character is part of your fo the following family's uh, faction's family. All right. So why are you in my family? Hey. Yeah. Who knows? Um. Anyway, you're a governor. You're a general. You're a general, Mina. Um. Ismail, you're not quite of age, apparently. Um. Hassan. I thought I had someone else that was. Maybe he's already gone. Maybe he's dead. <laughs> I had a lot of people die from um, assassins. But anyway, so we're gonna we are gonna have another governor that we're gonna be able to put in. So I'll do that in a moment. Twenty percent chance of killing that uh, their victim, and I'd also like. I guess I'd like a failure. It's not much of a chance of uh, being assassinated. If in doubt. We carry on. Um, we're going to need some more money for building something in Kerman. I'd like to do, do that this turn. Um, the Salgrids. I know what they'll want, but I'm not going to give it to them. Um, the Malachite. No. Um, there's literally nothing really I can offer. It's really annoying. Hasfids? Yeah, there's nothing that anyone can offer me. It's really annoying. Um... Oh no, wrong one. Uh, let's do this, and let's just... I want you just for see Chrome Wife. I, I can't. I'm not in charge of you, so I can't tell you. Go and seek your own wife, King of Mecca. Go, do it. Um, no, we'll just have to get someone in that's not usually a scholar, possibly. It's not really what I want. Melee. I guess I can just put you, you in. Um... I would like to put you into. I'd like to put you into Erbil. Because, oh yeah, Erbil's gonna have a rebellion. We may have a problem there. 
Erbil may be about to have a rebellion. So I could send back an army. Ah, yeah, we can send back an army, definitely. Erbil won't be having a rebellion anytime soon. Excellent, right. So we'll deal with that. Oh, yeah, and also Mosul's going to be... Not Mosul, Aleppo's going to be doing lots of great stuff. Excellent, okay. Um, we'll build something for... We'll build something for uh, Kerman next turn, it seems, then. Why are you so unhappy, then? Just taxes and everything. Okay. I'm going to put you on settled tribes for now, and then I might change that over. There's something else as well that needs doing for Haramashar, who's a governor for me. He needs some stuff doing. There's no point giving you anything there. Let's give you that, and then let's give you... There we go. Istafan's looking lovely. I hope you guys are all doing well and are uh, staying safe and all all of that in these trying times. I always, I'm saying it quite often at the moment, but it's a very important thing and I imagine I will carry on saying it until uh, we uh, we get through this. So I'm sure we'll all pull through this together. I'm certainly, uh, can't wait till we get out of these, uh, this lockdown. <laughs> certainly in the UK, I don't, I imagine the, most of the rest of the world is also in lockdown. Um, but yeah, but, um, but yes, hope you're all doing well and staying safe, and uh, all having great days in whatever way you possibly can. Oh, it looks like Antioch is uh, having a deal with rebels still. I might kill that small stack just since they offered them. Um, are you bids? No, I won't be having war with Tre uh, Trevisond anytime soon. Trevisond are the reason why I couldn't take Aleppo, but now I can. And I can also take Antioch if I want to. Um, unless Silesia. Ah, here we go. Excellent. So the armies. <laughs> Oh god, of course he's coming all the way to flipping, try and kill my king. And he's failed. Okay. That's not the end of the world. I don't mind him failing. Um, at least the army pulled back to go back to uh, Gench or whatever it's called. That's their final summon, which is in the north. I will probably deal with that in time. Mecca is here with a full stack, which could be handy because we could just use the army to... Just to uh, Get some easy victories. I will just realise that the sad thing to see is um, that uh, the Rus pretenders are gone, so Rush is no longer a thing. But Daoud is dead. No, and Yusuf we've had born. Okay, um, you're a very good administrator. No, you are really good at generals. But I guess I'll put you in his mail. There you go. You do you. Oh, and take her hand. Yeah, sure. Oh my gosh, that was just like... It's kind of scary. Just boom. Do this. Um, right, let's just yeah, attack the small stack. Oh, they actually stood the ground. Eight men. Yep, that's, uh, that's what happens to eight men. They get killed. Quite quickly. Um, since Antioch can siege, I've just seen... I'm just going to try and push this army on. And I'm going to see whether I can uh, either support or... Who is it? Oh, it's, it's only Antioch Pretenders. Um, okay, now I'm going to pull back. I didn't realise it was only Antioch Defenders. I don't want to help them. No, no, no. Anyway, Aleppo. Not Aleppo. Yeah, it is Aleppo, sorry. Not Antioch. Um, formerly owned by Antioch. I could put a bazaar. That'd be kind of cool, but it's a lot of money. I'm just going to put a pleasure house for now. It also gets me 1,500 anyway. Um, so that's not a complaint for me. Let's convert this castle. I'm going to make it a... I think I'm going to make it a fort. Keep Aleppo. I mean, Aleppo is very... I mean, at the moment, it's not really in my uh, line of defences. But I might change just for now. Okay. Let's put you on that. And more on integrity. Let's just boost your integrity. And then this army. Also, I guess, start boosting stuff. Uh, it doesn't really need replenishment, but hey, it can have it now. Then you, sir, can be boosting Islam, and you can also boost. Um, what's this? You could spread religion even more. Yeah, why not? Religion's looking real good here. Mosul, yeah, Mosul will use. It's looking excellent for like. How long ago we sacked it and burned it to the ground? It wasn't long ago. Um, goat's herd. A camel herd or tribal lands? 
Personally, I want a camel herd. Because we're more about those camels. See, there's a pilgrimage center. Someone was. Uh, I knocked a load of stuff down, but there was no way I could recruit Templars and stuff like that. I, I had a look. And you can't do it. Um, so that is a sad. A sad thing, but I guess it's also very OP. You wouldn't be able to do it, mainly because they're Muslim factions. You're not able to recruit like other factions' units. It's the whole point of uh, why you're a certain faction. You have weaknesses and limits. You can't recruit Templars. Please but uh, anyway, we move on. Uh, these guys, is there anything I can do with you? No. Oh, I really want, and I imagine there's nothing I can do with rum. My nah, extent. I didn't think so. Really could appreciate if one of you would uh, have some children so I can marry them off. But hey, get some more money out of you. But it's fine. We'll pretend like it didn't happen. Aljuaf is minus three because of taxes and war weariness. Okay, well we're just going to have to put some good in here to make this happy. I mean, we can put a pleasure house in. But it's not really the end of the world. It's not going to rebel anytime soon. Um, I am going to just knock these down, I think. And Kerman's not going to get us anything to build again for another turn. That's annoying. But we're earning 8 grand, so I mean, it shouldn't take long and we'll uh, have enough. Can this army reach? No, it can't. No, it can't. We could just move on to Urgent. Uh, what's the garrison looking like in Gorgon? It's going to hold. Um, not yet, but it will hold eventually. How can he reach? No, he can't. And he's only got a nine stack. I think we move on. I think we move on and just take him out. It's not even occupied. Excellent. Right. Let's go and do this. The fools. Right. So, yeah, we should just take this and just sit here. The two armies that we have. Just, yep. That's not going to work. Um, I'm going to murder you. Try and level you up. Yep, he did that. Excellent. I don't know if that will have leveled him up. Okay, this is going to be a real tough nut to <laughs> break through. The Quarasbrian Empire uh, pretenders have Indian elephants to start with. Lots of Nafatoons. I mean, they've got like a load of random stuff. We're going to have a garrison as well. It's going to be insanely good. Oh, it's not actually that great. And they've got more elephants, more Nafatoons. Jeez. Okay. Um, yeah, we might have a problem there. Uh, um, so when we do come to take them out, it may take a little bit of time and effort. Um, I'm thinking, what could we do? We could, uh, yeah, let's go down here and let's extort. We can get foreign agent. Yeah, that could work. Um, and then I think we're done on this turn. There's not much else I can move or do, so I'm going to end the turn and see what happens. See whether. Antioch falls, whether the Mongols will return to try and relieve their final city. I am not. I would be surprised if they did. I mean, they can become a horde again, I would have thought. So I'm, it's going to be hard to kill them off. But Okay, so we're back. Uh, Attila just decided to crash. I do apologize. Um, I'm not really sure what happened. I like, ended the turn and it got to a certain point and it then just crashed. It happens occasionally, but... Um, I'm not really sure what the issue is this time. It got to like the Quasmoon Empire pretenders or whatever it is. Got like nearly to the end and then just, but uh, just I don't know, just broke, whatever you call it. But um, yeah, so we're gonna the Cumans will make a peace treaty with them, a peace peace treaty, a tr non aggression with them. I'm pretty sure that came up before. I'm probably just gonna have edited out the old end turn and just uh, gonna just put in this new one. But we'll see what happens. Um, we have an army attacking us here. Okay, so we have a weird combination. Uh, okay, so we've got Silesia attacking me. I'm going to fight this one, I think. And we're going to see what happens. It's a pretty beaten up army, but we have some reserves coming. I'm just going to have to like put together like units. Just keep them really tightly packed together. I might just have to recruit, re-recruit these cavalry because they're definitely going to die. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield, and where our allies are uh, joining is not looking so good, because they're joining behind the enemy. Um, luckily, the enemy don't have any reinforcements, but... Um, yeah, this is going to be fun. Trying to get these guys to actually get 
Yeah, here they come. They're coming now. Oh, they actually might be of some sort of a blessing coming here. But anyway, let's put all my spears, including my general, out in front. And then let's just have you behind. <laughs> and then I guess we see whether we can kill those guys. I might be able to actually get the general. Um, whether that's true, I don't know. Let's just move these guys back. Keep moving you back. I just don't want... I want to allow this army to get closer. Go up this way, actually. Go up this way. This is a pretty d damaged army. I'd be surprised if it gets out. Uh, this one I'd like to get out, certainly. I, um, yeah. Got more of a concern for this one. If I can kill the cavalry, we have a good chance of victory. A really good chance of victory, especially if the general dies. Apparently, like, numbers are very close. Surprise they attacked us. Um... Turn around, turn around. Um, start shooting. I guess. Uh, hold ground. Oh, that's going to be painful. That's going to be painful. Yeah, that's painful. Um, can you both focus down this unit? What's happening over here with my other army? Uh, can you carry on trying to get up this hill? I would be would be nice. I'm just gonna you know back you on this way, back you up this way. Uh, archers and uh, what is remaining of swords just go here. General going behind and Nafatoons. Oh please just get up there, Nafatoons. I beg. Oh my. Archer's about to get, my archer's about to get chased down by cavalry. Um, okay. Not much I can do there. Apart from prey. Yep, here they go. Um, I guess I could lure in, possibly. Um, yeah, okay. Let's turn this around. Turn these guys around. We can definitely hold them here, I think. The famous last words of Pope. Uh, we can hold them here. Uh, the, more than likely we can't. Uh, General, pull back. Uh, Nafatoons go to like here. Cavalry, we can get you round. Now that the... Yeah, go down there. And then you boys turn around. You start shooting. I don't know them. That'll do. That'll do. Um, cavalry. I'm not quite sure where that's gone. Oh. Looks like it's gone. <laughs> My general is very beaten up for this army. So beaten up. Um, like, I am not sure if he's going to make it out of this. I'd like him to. Not sure if he is. Um, a solid chance he may not. Look at that. He's getting focused down, is that unit. Don't know what it quite wants me to do. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to just get him into combat to try and save him, but... I don't know if that's even going to work. Uh, yeah, just throw men in there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this unit is got uh, this, fa this faction. This uh, army is gone. Gone. Look at the amount of archers. That is disgusting. Uh, yeah, not surprising. They've struck a general down. That is going to be that morale of that army gone. Kill that general. Kill their general, we might have a hope. Um, keep moving, boys. Keep moving. We move, we move. Real qu We need to move really quickly as well. Um, apparently, we're not going to win that. F oh, my, yeah. No surprise. Of course, all the archers, the uh, like huge amount of archers just turn around. Yeah, let's just start hitting stuff. Um, yeah, just keep throwing Nafatoons in there. And we'll see what happens. We might get some men out of this. It's very unlikely, but we might. Um, you get on... You can <laughs> Run away. Oh, okay, my Nafatoons are dead. Uh, well, it's nice knowing them. 
And really, I should probably fall back with the rest of my stuff, but this army possibly could do some damage to Silesia. If you focus them down, then we have a chance. We can take that arty out as well. That'd be nice for the future. Yeah, focus all that down. Now look how much ammo they still have left. They don't even need to, like, fire properly. They just go, yeah, okay, we, we, we did some stuff. Um, get that general and we'll really good. Well, not really good, but better off. Just kill him. Come on, kill him. Hey, we got him. Okay, so we got the general. Um, maybe there is some hope in it. I mean, I doubt it. There's so much, so many archers left. We don't have any cavalry. Um, yeah, and my general's just broken. But hey, I don't really mind. These two armies can go or not go, but can be rebuilt. Um, and Silesia is like Silesia is doing thing. I'm just gonna get these guys to fall back. Just fall back. Um, can you fall back that way, please? Fall back that way. Uh, yeah, you're done for. I can't. Like, if you fall back, you die. If you stand there, you die. I guess you advance you and you die. At least you die in a glorious way. Um, you're only pretty cheap spears. We can probably replace you. I'm just mainly annoyed at the... Uh, at the... Ghoul and Foot Guard we're going to lose. Yeah, look at it. It's just so annoying. I just need cavalry in this army. And the cavalry, unfortunately, was so beaten up before it came into this fight. Had no hope. So I'm just going to kill this goddamn uh, artillery. Yeah, kill them. Kill them. They deserve to die. Cowards. That's what happens when you use uh, them. Anyway, I'm just going to... I'm just going to concede defeat. I'm going to see what that does. Um, might really beat up those last few units of archers. Yeah, that's uh, that army's very dead. The other army may still be alive. They lost 200 men. I mean, in fairness, it was 200 men of their most key units. They lost their cavalry, their artillery. Didn't lose a single archer, I'm, I'm sure. And I killed their general. So they'll just get a fresh one. Um, so that was not really smart in the end, but hey. Um, yeah, but the armies are going to get out. Or, yeah, that's sort of got out. And this army is falling back in the weirdest way it possibly could. And now Silesia stands in the middle of our lands. Excellent. <laughs> so what else? What else do we want? Um... Uh, <laughs> Dream come true. And here comes uh, the Mongols. They're going to send their uh, agent to come and do things to us. Some horrible things. Um, I actually don't know if he succeeded. Ah, here we go. So we found their large stack. I could take their city in one turn though and they all start to starve, I'm pretty sure. So I'm fine with that. They can start besieging down whatever it is. Where was Mecca? Me where was Mecca, hey? Mecca could have brought their uh, full army to come and deal with uh, these full stacks that I'm dealing with. And here comes the Salgrids. They're going to come and just try and do the same thing that I did. Um, Hassan, sadly, is going to have to replace. Um, and then duty calls for this guy. Um, Jahan, possibly? or uh, Yeah, one or the other. Let's go with Jahan. Oh my gosh, we need a lot of like new generals. Um, and there we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, and they keep dangerously close to murdering one of my guys. How rude of them. Aleppo is about to uh, die as well. Well, not die, but rebel. Um, I could go this way. Where can you reach? There. I can go force march and I can go to here. You can't reach there. Physically can't reach there. You also shouldn't be going there. It's a 15 stack now, instead of what it was before. Um, which I guess is some consolation, but it's not really. And this army, I'm going to start just building more Ghoul and Foot Guards. Get them ready. Um, we're going to need them in like as many turns as we go forward. Kipchaks, we've done stuff. Path blocked. Uh, yeah, that's okay. We're investing in uh, Gench. That's fine. Let's just, let's just finish this off. Um, oh, my air is here. My air and... Uh, my heir and my leader are here. I'm presuming the agent died. Or like, I don't know, he like succeeded and then died. I'm not quite sure what happened. 
But we're just going to execute them. And there we go. We have taken... I could subjugate them. And I am, I think. I'm going to subjugate these guys. I'm going to subjugate the Mongols. I kind of want to keep them alive. They're also doing so much issues. I don't really want to go and deal with them. So they can keep their bit of land up here. I think they are very Muslim based. Yeah, they're Muslim. They're Sunni Islam. So they'll slowly like me um, in time. Yeah, I'm not surprised they, uh, they don't like me very much. But... I'll keep an army over here. We'll keep an eye on them. Um, let's put integrity up. And let's also put noble recruit time down. So Atlas Chosen Warriors can go here. You can... Sir, can you recruit anything? Oh, we can get really good Mongol heavy horse archers. That actually might be very nice. Um, but I'm going to send the main army. Can carry on going through Merv. We're going to have to deal with the Quasmarian Empire next. Or the pretenders of the Quasmarian Empire. Um, Gorgon... Let's put in a better a Noria, a better sanitation place. I'm trying to think what it was called. It's like it's a pump of some sort. It's like no sanitation, right? Uh, anyway, and then let's see wariness, religious differences. Hey, well there you go. You've got yourself a church. You can sort yourself out. Um, you could have a pleasure house if you wanted one. I don't really want to give you one just yet. Istafan, you're looking just fine, though you have the disease. You have the disease, and Ray is just about okay. Ray is just about okay. I'm rhyming now. Um, our economy is looking really good, though, at 10,000. Um, I'm going to put in that for recruitment cost for cavalry. It's going to take a long time, but something I'm worth uh, waiting on. And I've got eight grand left. Eight grand. Sitting on eight grand. What to do with it? Um, I guess build the better Arsatan. Um, I'm also going to put another, build another army in Baghdad. Um, sadly, it's going to have to be Ayub with his goddamn just, I don't know, he's just, a, he's a scholar. <laughs> what do I want a scholar for? I actually have built this in an awful spot. Um, I guess I'll put two light archers in, but I don't really need them or want them here. Should have built it in Hamadan. I've got a really good uh, like potential over here. Oh well. We did what we did. Um, I could do with more Nafatoons, in fairness. Uh, Istafan is looking okay. I could put that in for... We actually have a bit need this for food, possibly. At some point. Um, Yads is now neutral. It's fine. Um, you're doing your thing. That's cool. You've upgraded as well. Excellent. Right, so we'll put something in for you. Let's put in... Let's put in armor, I guess. And then let's put authority and then zeal. So you're doing your bit. Nice. And then we've got five grand left. Jeez, what to spend it on? Certainly not giving it to people. Um, just going to see whether... Actually, I should see whether there's people I need to marry off. Instead of just looking through it. Hassan. I'm sure there is, probably. Yeah, Hassan over here. He needs needs a wife. Let's see if we can get himself a wife. From a foreign nation. Quickly, and if not, then Please that's fine. Military access. No, I don't really want to give you that. Been over that already. Being over all of this doesn't work. Oh, the Marinids. Greetings, most um, no aggression. And speak as you would before you yeah, sure. Well, we're trying to get more money out of people, I guess. Marinids. You're neutral to quite a lot of people, so this is good. Um, okay, apparently you don't have that much money. I'm just going to get non aggression with you, and we'll make it. A thousand? I guess that's not a bad amount. The Almid, um, you're actually, yeah, you are actually at war with your Welcome, friend. allies or whatever you call them. Um, Genoa, I guess all these people probably hate me. Let's see if we can get an alliance with, plainly, or not alliance, um, trade. Purpose. Can't get trade with the Kipchaks, that's annoying. But they own everything over here. This is, they've got a huge empire. Um, others of these guys, can I make peace with them? Right, we can make peace with these guys, good. Speak plainly. There we go, we've got peace with them as well. They're making some sort of faction up here, or raiding to make cause some sort of rebellion. But yeah, we can see these guys now, I don't really want to go and invade them. I'm quite happy just leaving them there to do their thing. Oh my gosh, 202 food here, wow. Um, we don't have any worry about that. I could put in a Balak 
garrison quarters then just to keep an eye on that that'll yeah that's taking all my money and that's kind of what i'm going to do to keep gorgon under control and that's also going to make a huge garrison here for itself um so we won't need to worry about the mongols rebelling anytime soon which is good so i don't want to have to deal with about with them rebelling anyway um you sir can come down here and then that's kind of it. That's probably where we're going to wrap up today's episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. We have slightly expanded by um, basically just vassalizing the Mongols. I don't want to deal with them themselves. So they can just deal live with it themselves as a vassal state of me. So we now reign supreme over everything to the east. I'm going to take out these guys. I'm going to take this for myself. Uh, and then, yeah, that's kind of like the east is covered. I mean, apart from the uh, Gurids down here which and the Salgrids, who I'm not really too worried about taking out just yet or at any point I might just leave them they are basically my uh, they're dependent on me at this point I might just start going west that's all there is really is just the west would aim so we'll just go after Silesia we did take a bit of a knock here um, but we'll take Antioch soon I mean it's looking like oh the garrison's very good they're never gonna take that <laughs> are they just gonna wait and see if they can take that out in 12 turns time wow but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and uh, a comment to show your support for the channel. Um, I do appreciate all the support, and I, um, let's keep it up. And uh, until next time, Legionnaires.